Hello everybody, Beth Cohen here. Today we are going to talk about how to change the key of a YouTube video. So if you're practicing with it either with the vocalist or with the instrumental karaoke track and it is just not the right key for you, we can make it higher, we can make it lower. We are going to do that today in Chrome uh, via something called Transpose in Extensions. And of course that sounds crazy, but I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Let's go. All right, kids, here we go. So we are in Chrome right now, and what we are going to do is go type into the URL Chrome Web Store. Ah, it's already there. And this is going to pop up. We've got the Chrome Web Store right there. You click on that, and it takes you to all of the extensions that you can add on. Now, just for your information, this little puzzle piece right here is called Extensions. See, it pops up, and that allows you to add on little things that make Chrome a lot better. One of those things is called Transpose. We're typing in there, and you've got this first one that pops up. You click on that. This describes what the extension does for you and it does a lot of great things. It's got the actual transpose which can make the pitch higher or lower and it does it in increments of half steps. And then we've got pitch. So if something is slightly out of tune, uh, you can change the pitch to make it in tune. It also lets you do the speed, the tempo. So if something is too fast, you can slow it down. If something is too slow, you can speed it up. There's also a wonderful feature here called loop, which means if you're trying to learn one riff or trying to learn one section of the song, you can make it so that just that little section will go over and over again, thus looping it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, add to Chrome. Uh, it's going to ask you, do you want to do it? Yes, you're going to add extension. And then here we are. Oh, let me change this. So this is my South Florida, so everyone can see that. Okay, so what it did is it, believe it added it in, let's see, extensions. Yeah, there you go. So it added it in, but we can't see it here in this little bar right here. So we want to do this. This is a little pin. We want to pin it. There it goes. Now it is in the extensions and it is on the bar all the time. All right, kids, so here we are. We have uh, our extension installed. We are going to go to YouTube and check out a video and change the key. I'm going to selfishly click on my own release. Uh, yeah, this is called Take Me to Paris. It's by my project called Swank Betty. And you can hear the key of it now. You can hear the chords playing in the back. What we're going to do is we are going to take uh, this and let's transpose it, right? We want to work on it. We're going to go up Let's go up quite a bit, four half steps, which is equal to uh, two whole steps. And let's check it out here. This is where you can play it from. Sounds a little bit chipmunk-ish, but uh, you can obviously hear that the key is changed now. That's really all there is to it. Uh, hopefully it helps you to practice better, rehearse better, learn better. Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you soon, everybody.